<laughs> do you get embarrassed? Um, I yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty-five and a half pounds. Not even that. <laughs> summit of Mount Monadnock. This is where the trail starts. We've hiked maybe like two miles and it's a hard trail. So I think this is the highest elevation we're gonna see throughout the weekend. And so it's all downhill from here. So we officially went up and over Mount Monadnock trying to see if this is where the official trail starts or if the official trail started on the summit. <laughs> Gut Hooks says this is mile zero, so maybe we did all that for nothing, but no, it was a good time. It was a really cool summit. It did check off one of my 52 with the view, so now I'm at 28. <laughs> so that's something to celebrate, but we just saw our first Monadnock Sunapee Greenway sign. I guess we go onward. All right, let's call this the start, because this is the first welcome to the Monadnock Sunapee Greenway sign. Wow, made it! <laughs> so positive. I thought you hated hiking. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Say for whoever needs to hear it right now, if you're about to go on a backpacking trip and you have a Sawyer water filter, check to see if the O-ring is still there, because my O-ring is not on it and it doesn't work that great, so... Found that out at the first water source, and good luck to me! Eight point three miles of hiking later, and we finally found a shelter. Should be right around the corner, somewhere. Right there. Oh my god! A frog! A frog was giant! <laughs> Jesus! I thought it was like a snake or something. Told you I was jumpy. This is dinner tonight. Good old fashioned cup of ramen. This is a pretty good tent site. Step one, tent. Step two, sleeping pad. Step three, pillow. And finally, step four is the quilt. Here I am, 
the beginning of day two on the Monadnock Sunapee Greenway Trail. Today is about 18 and a half miles. Um, just rolling hills, maybe like a total elevation gain of 3,000 feet. So hopefully that'll go by fast. It's just before eight o'clock in the morning. Kyle's still at the shelter drinking coffee and packing up. I was ready, so I head off. going to be a lot of road walking today, which I don't mind. It's very easy miles. It goes by quick. outlook on the side of the dirt road I'm walking on with a view of Crotched Mountain. This hike isn't a very high elevation hike so we do have to appreciate the little lookouts like that. Also I left camp about two hours ago. I've hiked 5.5 miles and still haven't seen Kyle. Um, when you think you're walking up to some trail magic but get a lamp, some, some of that, this coffee maker, yeah, exactly the type of trail magic I was hoping for, but no, I'm totally just kidding, I wasn't expecting any on this, on this type of trail. at the critter shelter it's about 12 miles into today's hike kyle caught back up with me at mile eight um he was, was... Oh, i just did this in the background oh. I now. <laughs> yeah i was hiking about 10 minutes in front of him for the majority of the morning a lot of the morning was on like dirt roads a lot of the recent miles have been on like atv roads but hopefully we get into some trails um coming up we have some good viewpoints um, it's about one o'clock now, five hours into our day. So I think we're making pretty good time. Yeah. Oh, you're doing stupid things behind me. Payback. <laughs> Payback for yesterday. All right. See you soon. Now that's a, that's a good sign. Free water at this little chapel. Trash can. It's so, so pretty here. Cool. Especially nice since, you know, I'm still rocking the whole broken filter thing. <laughs> so <laughs> I'll take advantage of the water. Yeah. I think this section of trail is just going up someone's driveway. <laughs>
section of the trail. It's very green, very open, very sunny. And looks like we're entering the blueberry pasture. There's a bunch right there. Not a hundred percent sure, but pretty positive. That's Mount Monadnock. So that's where we were yesterday. Because now I'm hiking up Pitcher Mountain, which is a mountain I hiked in one of my recent videos when I did eight trails in one day. So it's pretty cool being here for the second time within like a month. And it's so nice at the top, I can't wait to get up there again. Pitcher, pitcher, pitcher mountain. Pitcher mountain. Pitcher mountain. Did you, did you see all the blueberries up here? Um, I actually did. Yeah, and I'm pretty <laughs> surprised to see them honestly because I watched your last video and I didn't see them in that video. So <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know why you didn't include those. I, I failed to mention that. Maybe, maybe they weren't there yet. Yeah. That could have been. It could have been. I don't but know. I'm happy they're here now. <laughs> to the Foxbrook Camp campsite, site. Foxbrook campsite. And this is our original plan to stay here. It's just after six o'clock, but we got talking to a local at the last hill at Hubbard Hill. And she said, you didn't hear it from me, but there is a hill <laughs> right after the campsite that's pretty awesome to camp on. And from what it sounds like, there's a really good view, an open summit, and we're contemplating doing the point eight. We're I mean, do it. yeah, I mean, we made the decision to do the Although point eight. Although she told us not to tell anybody, <laughs> no. to put it on the internet. <laughs> well, we don't know her name. We don't know. Don't any get her in trouble if you we can't do that. We don't know anything about her. She just said that it's not allowed. I don't know if she. I don't know if she said it's not allowed. It's just not a designated campsite. Yeah, I think it was more like a secret, like, don't tell anybody. Except for all the internet people that... But they don't uh, hike anyway, so yeah, they're, no, they're never no, going to come here. People don't People don't watch my videos. <laughs> yes, they do. All right. Well, that's enough. We're going to get water. <laughs> spilled it's, too many secrets It's already. really hot out. Oh, my God. 38,000 steps. <laughs> okay, Bye. Getting hydrated before the last climb. That's right. It's at 0.8 miles. How much elevation? A billion five. Oh, yeah. Billion five. All it's right. like 400 something feet. Yeah. This is definitely the most water I've ever carried on a hike, especially going uphill. But I got that full of dirty water that full of dirty water and then this is filtered. So I have something to drink on the way up, but we need enough water to last the night and then, and to cook dinner and to hike in the morning. So that should be fine. All right, this is Jackson Hill. 
his home for the night. We'll get a sunset later. We'll get a sunrise in the morning. There's no one else up here. It's pretty cool. So this is what's on the menu for tonight. All right, here's a end of day two recap. We hiked about 19 miles probably, camping on top of Jackson Hill. Still haven't seen another through hiker. <laughs> We're the only ones out here. This trail is beautiful and I don't know why more people aren't on here, but it's a hidden gem. It's a hidden gem. So the sunset, there's the tent, and it's gonna be a good night.